garden? Yes, this is my absolute favorite place to play. Oh, I see. I need to go through it to reach my dollhouse. Let's go, I will lead the way. Okay, so no new dialogue there. A fork? Both Egliette and I love sweets. Isn't it a little too big? Just for decoration, dummy. Now let's go. I have cuter things to show you. A big fork towers over the garden walls. Its tines buried deep into the ground. I can charm. You want to sit for a little while? Sure, I guess. Isn't it nice and cool out here? Is it? Yes, it's really pleasant. Uh-huh. And do you know, my dollhouse is really, really big. Oh, do you live there on your own? I live there with Egliette. Oh, I see. I have lots and lots of games for us to play at home. But I have played them all already with Egliette. And you know, I have never, ever lost a game. Never? Never, so I'm really excited to win against you, too. I see. It will be so fun, and we can eat all kinds of candy, too. Do you like candy, too? What kind of candy do you like the most? I'm just regular candy. I'm not picky. What? You're so boring. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm getting tired of being here. Let's go. We don't have time to talk. I want to go home. Okay, can't go back. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Let's hurry. This is all wrong. What is it, Fleta? A garden. This wasn't how it looked before. It used to be a path straight ahead. Now it's gone. Fine, Flutter. I'm sure everything will be all right. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. Let's go. I want to go home soon. Do you two little girls want to hear a joke? Doesn't hear you, you dumb tree, or whatever you are. I don't have time for your stupid joke. Show me the way home this instant or else. Such a loud miss you are. Didn't your mommy teach you any manners? What did you just say? Who do you think you're talking to? Shoo, shoo, go away, you're pestering me. Come back after you're learning some respect. Come down, Flutter. Let me try talking to him, alright? Umph. Fine, go ahead and try it. It's not like he's going to tell you anything anyways. Hello there, mister. You see, we're somewhat lost right now, and we were wondering if you could show us the way. Of course, it would be my pleasure, miss. Thank you so much, mister. Ahem, now there is a trick to getting out of mazes. Have you heard about it? I cannot believe this. Can you believe this, Egliette? Ah, I know about that one trick where you tie a thread to something at the start of the maze and hold it as you are walking so you don't get lost. You're right, miss. However, there is one that's even more effective. Really? Blah, blah, blah. Look at me. I know how to talk to trees. It's impressive that you know all the methods to get out of a maze. Too bad you're a tree. Yes, do you want to hear it? Just say it already, you ugly tree trunk. I want to go home. Carrying on. It's truly an easy method, miss. All you need to do is place your right hand on the right wall of the maze and follow it all the way to the end. You'll never get lost, I can guarantee you that. That's amazing. I never knew about that trick. Thank you so much for your help. Ooh, thank you so much for your help. How do you even know he's not lying? He's a tree. There's no way he could know how to walk out of a maze. He has never even walked. You are very welcome, miss. Now be careful and take care, especially with that noisy girl you have there with you. 
Could you just call me your old piece of wood? Thank you, mister. Oh, then let's go. Please don't be mean to Mr. Tree. He's even helped us with getting out of this maze. I'm fine. Then you lead the way, Miss Goody Two-Shoes. We'll see if you can get us out of this stupid maze. All right. Well, let's save. Save there, because I want to go to the left first. This. Look at charm. I heard the Pumpkin King has come to visit. Aren't you excited? Pumpkin King? Ugh, I hate the Pumpkin King. Why? Mr. Tree looks very excited about him. Pumpkin King thinks he's all glorious and mighty. I hate stuck-up pumpkins like him. Right, Egliet? Don't you hate him too? The first time the Pumpkin King appeared in the kingdom, he challenged Princess Flutter to a chess game in exchange for a quiet place where he could raise his little pumpkins. Princess Flutter lost to him, and so he won his rightful place in this garden. Oof, that's just because he was a big cheater. Ah, I see. Let's go, I don't want to go anywhere near that stupid scarecrow. What happened? I don't know, but it feels like we're in this different place now. Why are we even here? Was this not here before? No. You'll never get home like this. Fleta? Don't worry, Fleta, it'll be alright. We will definitely get out of here, okay? How can you be so sure? We are lost, and this is a maze, you know. I'm not sure, but we need to stay positive, right? And I'm really looking forward to playing games with you. Let's try getting home as soon as possible, alright? Alright. You want to take a rest? We could sit on that bench over there. Uh-huh. What a... Do you really live here all by yourself? No, I live together with Egliette. Aren't you lonely sometimes? Not at all. Egliette is always there for me, no matter what. I see, I'm glad. Why did you ask that? Do you want to be my friend, too? <laughs> me? No, I mean, I didn't ask because I wanted to be your friend. I don't want to impose. You dummy. You're already mine and Egliette's friend. Right, Egliette? See? Thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Egliette as well. Oh, thank you, Egliette. Hmm. Well, let's go. Can't stay here all day. Yes. A white marble bench stands under the tall rose arbor. So, nothing about talking together. Mr. Pumpkin, can we ask you a question? Oh well, yes, most certainly you can. Do you by any chance know what happened to the garden? Oh my, you have no idea how terrifying the whole drill was. I had never gone through such an unsettling event in all my five months of existence. What happened? See, yeah, I was just resting here as always, and suddenly everything went dark. The garden was already like this when I got to my senses. You don't really know how it got like this? Not really, no. I hope I was hopeful. I'm telling you, there's no candy inside of me. Why are you doubting me? Pumpkin, listen to me. Every pumpkin needs candy to survive. I have candy inside me, and every pumpkin I know has candy inside of them as well. Meaning you have to have candy inside you, too. No, I don't. What is this all about, pumpkins? Your Highness, you have come just at the right time. A friend here doesn't believe me when I say every pumpkin has candy inside them. No, they don't. I don't have any candy inside me whatsoever. I haven't heard anything about candy inside pumpkins before. Ah, I knew it! No, I swear I'm not lying! Please calm down, you two. And there's only one way to find out who is right. We just need to open one of you up and see for ourselves. Open me up? Wait, Fleta, wouldn't that hurt him? What does that matter? It's for a much bigger purpose. 
Wait, please don't open me up. I don't know what. Isn't there any other way to check? And try and reach for the candy through his mouth. Oh. Alright, let's try that. You do it. Me, why me? Because I said so. Alright. I'll say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ugh, so. What was inside? Hmm? What the heck is that? Well, you're a liar. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're a big fat liar. Hey, don't make fun of my weight. Let's just step away from them. Yes. The two pumpkins are violently yelling at each other as their leaves wiggle angrily. Okay. What if I go... down? Ah. When I grew up, I wanted to be one of those scary pumpkins. The ones that have spooky, shining eyes. I see, I hope you can really become one with in the future. You'll probably end up becoming one of Egliette's pumpkin pies. Lada, you shouldn't have said that. And who are you to tell me what to say? Let's go, I don't have time to waste on pumpkins. I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. I don't even like pumpkin pie. Ah, that's a tree. Don't forget, miss, place your right hand on the right wall of the maze and you'll reach the exit in no time. Oh. You just looped around again. That's the respawn point if you use the wrong way. Let's see, did I go to the right or did I go to the left? I don't want to go that way. But the exit could be in that direction. I don't care, we're not going that way. Ah. Oh look, there's candy hanging from this tree. Ah, oh, you're right. Let's get it. But how? I can just get on your back again. Oh, alright. You're kind of heavy, though. What was that? No, it's nothing, don't worry. Oof, I'll show you who's heavy. Let it be careful, you're hurting me. Shut up, I'm almost there. Uh-oh. Ow, that hurt. Watch your step, will you? I'm sorry, Flutter. It was just... It was just what? You dropped me. Or something in the bushes. Oh, this? You silly bunny, that's just a pumpkin. Pumpkin? What's a pumpkin doing in there? You don't know? This is where all the pumpkins in the kingdom are born. Sprout inside the bushes in the garden until they're big enough to leave. I see. Hello, little pumpkin. Hello, princess. Is everything alright in there? Are you comfortable? Yes, I am. Do you want to hear a joke, princess? Alright. What is green and has yellow wheels? I have no idea. Do you know what it is? Oh, I don't know. Just the grass. I like about the wheels. <laughs> ah! What are you laughing at? That joke was just so funny. Are you serious? How can you laugh at that? Ah ha ha. Bye. Anyway, good luck growing up, pumpkin. I'll see you in a few months. At least you like my joke, miss. It was a good joke, pumpkin. Don't worry. Yeah, that leads around there. Can I go to the left? Alright, she just doesn't want to go that way. Can I go up?
Hmm. You're close, you're close. Oh, you're also very close. Close to what, Mr. Pumpkin? Also very close to the edge. I believe it's time to make a pledge. Hi, Princess Fleta, ruler of all. Swear I will be friends with you for all eternity. Now, now, miss, it is your turn. Either give Princess Fleta your word or expect to burn. Oh, I, I swear I will be friends with Fleta for all eternity. The pledge has been made, a precious promise that shall never fade. Oh, that startled me. With this we can be friends forever. Yes. But if you ever betray me... You know what will happen, doesn't she, Egliette? Hmm. Well then, let's go. Yes. Oh, friendship, such a marvelous thing you are. Hand in hand with betrayal, there is nothing more bizarre. Okay, I think that's the exit right there. Because that is light instead of darkness. We're not getting anywhere like this. You've been utterly useless. What up? Okay, well now that Flood is not with me. All hail the Pumpkin King! Eh? All hail the Pumpkin King! Standing in the center of the garden and surrounded by his countless pumpkins is the Pumpkin King, his body burning up in furious flames. Various pumpkins of all sizes rest in a bed of green vines. A small scarecrow stands near the fence, its tiny body dressed up in a little gardener outfit. All scarecrows in your fence. Yeah, I think same thing as the other one. I'm so glad the Pumpkin King has taken us in. I feel much more reassured now. Careful, don't stomp on our babies. I'm so sorry. I don't want to step on their babies. Hmm. Okay. That's Pumpkin King. Hmm. I don't know any rhymes, but I sure like to sing. Actually, I didn't try going just to the right yet. Let's do that next. Giant cake over there. Aha! You stupid tree! Take this and this! You despicable liar! Let it wait, what are you doing? Calm down! Why are you hitting him? He lied to us! No, he didn't, Fleta, calm down, alright? Why did we get lost? It was my fault! Oof, then why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. Fine, just don't get lost again. Be safe, child. Another one of those statues. Isn't it cute? It's my favorite cake, too. What is it? Can't you see? It's obviously a whipped cream cake with strawberry glaze. Ah, I see. What did you think it was? 
Oh, I just don't know much about sweets. You're not very bright, are you? Ah. Each slice of cake rests surrounded by various decorations on top of the sticky looking red sauce. I don't know what the other one is there. Hmm. Okay. not, because that would bring you back up to here. And then if you continue that, you go up here. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think you lied. And you just keep going through this. Okay, out of the maze. Ah. This is it, we made it. I'm so glad. Let's go inside, I have so much I want to show you. Yes, let's. Your Highness, I'm glad you are finally back. Does something happen, Pumpkin? Oh no, not at all. I'm just happy to see you. Oh, Pumpkin, you're making me blush. May I ask who that is next to you? Or oh, her, she's just a friend. Hello, friend. You're also quite a beautiful girl. <laughs> ah, thank you, Pumpkin. Enough small talk. Let's go. Oh, alright. Goodbye, Pumpkin. It was nice meeting you. Please come to visit again, miss. I'm looking forward to spending time with you two beauties someday. Various pumpkins of all sizes rest in a bed of green vines. As you can see, Princess, we have taken good care of your dollhouse while you were away. Good job, trees, just as expected. We guard Princess Fleta's dollhouse at all times. Scissors are one of the items that are absolutely not allowed on the property. A huge slice of cake rests surrounded by various decorations and topped with sticky looking red sauce. Okay. Princess, Princess, who is this girl next to you? She's my friend. Can I be friends with her too? I've never had any friends. There's no way I'm going to share my new friend with the likes of you. I replace Pumpkin. Princess? Well, uh, it's just a pumpkin. No means no, you're my special friend and no one else's, you're mine. I just wanted to be friends with a pretty girl. I'm sick and tired of having everyone mistake me for a pumpkin. But you are a pumpkin. No, I might look like a pumpkin, but I actually identify with the Queensland Blue community. Oh, right. There are few then. Bye, no one will ever understand me. Tell me not, Princess Flutta. How would you like to sing? Ding dong, ding dong, tell me now, my friend, if you'd like to hear a song. 
Ding dong, ding dong. Tell me now, then, what the rule of spring? Ding dong, ding dong. Oh, please, miss. Don't you dare get it wrong. Ding dong, ding dong. Don't you worry, my friend. I would never forget our theme song. Ding dong, ding dong. My most precious rule is not all pretty girls need a king. Welcome home, Princess Flutter. Please do come inside. Thank you, door. Hmm. You're finally here. Welcome to my dollhouse, miss. Is this really your home? Everything is so pretty. Isn't it? I had a very special pumpkin come in and do all the decorations in the house. I see. Let me show you around. All right. Okay, so no special talking. Be sure to make the most of the rare peaceful moments in life, little girl, for it all is but one frightening storm. Our own livings here are shortened by father time, and occasionally even by the whims of others. Be careful, my dear, there will be times when you will need to consult with your little weakened heart. In order to break through the shadows, you need to fight, and once you reach the light... Erg, please, Pumpkin, just shut up already. I told you not to bother my guest with your boring lectures. No, Flood, it's fine, I don't mind. But I do mind. I order you to never ever say those kinds of silly things ever again. Are we clear, Pumpkin? Yes, Your Highness. It's such a lovely day, isn't it? Princess, Princess, I have a big favor to ask you. You do? What is it, Pumpkin? You see, Princess, my tooth fell out this morning. I really want to get a coin from the Tooth Fairy. So would you please put my tooth under my leaves? Me? Oh no, Pumpkin, there's no way I'm going to touch your tooth. Princess, I just want the Tooth Fairy to pay me a visit. Um, quit up, Pumpkin, I'm not touching your filthy tooth. Lotta, it's just a tooth, and besides, Mr. Pumpkin even asked you nicely and everything. Oh, is that so? Why don't you do it then? Gladly. Don't worry, Mr. Pumpkin, I'll do it for you. You will, really? Yes. Oh, look at me, I'm so polite and kind. It's still inside my mouth, just reached for it. Alright, then say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, look at me, I'm so much better than Flutter. I got it. Let me just put it under your leaves. And it's all done. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, miss. You're welcome, Pumpkin. I hope you can meet the Tooth Fairy tonight. Me too, thank you so much, miss. Are you two done yet? Oh, um, yes. Don't waste my time, I want to go play. I'm sorry, Fleta. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, miss. Welcome home, princess. Who's that you have with you, princess? Oh, she's a very special friend. Hello. Hello, miss. Welcome to our home. Thank you, pumpkins. We're lucky enough to live with Princess Flutter in her home. Yes, we truly are very special pumpkins. Don't come to your room, princess? Why, yes, I am, pumpkin. I see. Be careful not to eat too many sweets or else you'll get a tummy ache. Is that so, Pumpkin? Come on, let's go. I was just trying to be nice. 